Hey everyone, I am Ms. Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, I am going to go through density conversion and explain to you why 1 gram per cm cube is equal to 1000 kilograms per meter cube. So this is something that a lot of students have questioned because when we had to apply the value of density in various questions and the questions gave us the units in gram per cm cube and they're like, why is 1 equal to 1000? Question mark, question mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. So I'm here to show you why that is so. Now, this is a common point of confusion because a lot of students only remember to convert mass. So let's write this down really quickly. Now, we know that 1 gram is equal to 1 out of 1,000 kilograms or some of you like to write it in a 0 0.00 method. So that's 0 0.001 kilograms. So a lot of students always see this, and that's why they automatically think, oh, if I write 1 gram per cm cube should be 0 0.001 kilogram per meter cube. If you're thinking this, that means you have not fully understood the concept of conversion in physics and math. This is obviously not right. Why? Because you have only remembered to convert the gram to kilogram. You have forgotten to convert the cm cube to meter cube. So when you do conversions involving multiple units, you have to convert not only one. You've got to convert both. So let's see the value of 1 cm cube. So 1 cm cube, and this is also another common mistake. A lot of students write this as well. They're like, oh, 1 cm is 0 0.01 meters, right? So they remember, okay, it's 1 out of 100 meters. So they just do this. Oh, 0 0.01 meter cube. Again, wrong. <coughs> Why? Because you have forgotten to cube it. There's a cube there. You mustn't just, you know, take one part of the unit and make that the main focus and the only thing that you change. No, you've got to remember that the cube here means cm times cm times cm. Three times. So, one cm cube is actually what? One cm times one cm times 1 cm. Don't forget that. So let's go to a fresh slide so that we can do the proper conversion. Now, if you're using 0 0.0000s, I highly recommend that you start using standard form instead. That means 10 to the power of n. Why? Because when you're dealing with very large numbers or very small numbers, they become easier. So for example, if you're trying to write, oh, 0 0.01 times 0 0.01 times 0 0.01, you've got lots of zeros to handle. It's so easy to make a mistake in terms of writing out the number of zeros or punching it in your calculator. Mistakes are going to happen very easily. Whereas if you use standard form, it's easier to get the correct number, especially when you're multiplying it or dividing it in your calculator. So my recommendation is stop using all these zeros and start using standard form. Now, how do we use standard form? Let's take a quick look. So let's say we want to convert gram per cm cube to kilogram per meter cube. So we're going to just write that as our reference here. We're going to convert Let's say one, one gram per cm cube. So let's look at each unit's conversion first. So starting with grams, one gram, as we know, is one over 1,000 kilogram. So to write this in standard form, it's actually one over 10 to the power of three kilogram, which means it's one times 10 to the power of negative three kilogram. Now, let's look at cm cube to meter cube. But before we go to that, let's look at 1 cm first. So 1 cm, we know, is 1 divided by 100 meters. This gives us 1 divided by 10 power of 2 meters. 
which gives us 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2. So if you have 1 cm cubed, this means it's 1 cm times 1 cm times 1 cm. Each 1 cm is equivalent to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meters. So I'm going to keep this simple. We're just going to maintain only the 10 power of negative 2. And you can see how easy it is to get the answer here. 10 power of negative 2 times 10 power of negative 2 times 10 power of negative 2 gives us, let me move this out of the way, this gives us 1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters cubed. So much easier to get a straightforward answer, right? Instead of counting how many zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, right? So now that we know 1 cm cubed is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters, we're going to take these two numbers and we're going to put that into the conversion. So 1 gram per cm cubed is actually equal to 1 gram divided by 1 cm cubed. And what we'll do is we will substitute each value in. 1 gram, I'm just going to draw an arrow here just to show you where this goes. 1 gram is 1 times 10 power negative 3 kilograms, so that's going to go on top. So that gives us 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 kilograms divided by, and this meter cube is going to go at the bottom. And this value is going to go at the bottom. So I'm going to write that here. 1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters cubed. So you see, when you have standard form like this, it's so much easier to get the answer, right? You get 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by 10 to the power of negative 6. So 10 to the power of negative 3 over 10 to the power of negative 6 gives us 10 to the power of negative 3 minus negative 6, giving us 1 times 10 to the power of 3, positive 3 kilograms per meter cube. Let me move my face out of the way. And that's why the value is 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. And yes, this is why, this is why 1 gram per cm cube is equal to 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. So in the future, you can just memorize this. You don't have to prove this through this long-winded working. No need. They're not even going to give you marks for showing all this extended working. No. They just want to know, do you know that 1 gram per cm cube is equal to 1,000 kilogram per meter cube? So if you have other values expressed in gram per cm cube and you need to convert it to kilogram per meter cube, all you need to do is multiply by 100. So for example, if you are given a value of 0 0.8 grams per cm cube, you don't have to do that long-winded mathematical conversion to get the value. Just take this number, multiply it by 1,000, and you would get that value in kilogram per meter cube. And that's it. So I hope you found this video educational and helpful. Please click like and subscribe for more lessons, solutions, and exam strategies from your physics teacher, Ms. Ho. Happy studying!